guys it is 12.05 on a Sunday um, if my car is rumbling and it's loud I'm so sorry I'm gonna get moving in just a second I'm about to go run out and do some errands it is nasty outside it is raining it is gross I've just thrown up my hair in this little bun because I couldn't be bothered to do it and do it cute like I usually do for this weather I think the first stop we're gonna make is to the Goodwill and I've never actually been to a Goodwill like inside the store but my best friend went to a Goodwill recently and got some picture frames that I don't think we would have been able to find anywhere but a Goodwill or maybe on Etsy but Etsy would have charged us out of the wazoo so now I'm gonna go because the ultimate goal and then I'm gonna get off this camera so I can drive the ultimate goal is to be able to add some charm back into my house because as many of you know if you've built a new build or been to someone who's just built a new home the a lot of the times why would this man park right here at the base of my driveway a lot of the times new builds don't have a lot of charm and so I want to be able to bring that into my home and make my house a little bit more unique and different and feel like a little bit more me and I'm gonna do that through the decor so I'm gonna share all of that with you today I bought some home decor bits for the house nothing major just like decor pieces versus like furniture cuz I'm pretty sure we're done with the furniture but we'll get into that later and yeah that's pretty much the plan for today Right, guys I made it as you can see and <laughs> I'm so glad I got this parking space because it is 38 degrees and it's raining even harder now and I don't have a coat or an umbrella so <laughs> yay me I haven't had a coat since like 2018 or 19 I don't know whenever I wasn't pregnant last so I'm just out here in a sweater hoping for the best but anyway um I'm just gonna run in I'm gonna take my camera in and hopefully we can find some little bits All right, not gonna lie, that was not that great. I could not, I mean, they didn't really have anything, not that I, I don't really know what I expected, but I didn't find really anything. I found a few gold picture frames that I liked, so we'll see if those work. I bought three, and they only cost like $4, so that was kind of like, that gave me a little, a little bit of a rush. I'm like, I need to go back there more. But um, yeah, so I don't know. I may try to go to another one, just so that it's not a complete, like, day out in the rain for nothing but um yeah i'm a little bit disappointed all right so we're back home i'm about to undo all of these bags with you so i can show you what i got and what my plans are with it i have another bag here and i was just looking through these hello fresh meals because it got delivered today which is so odd because it usually comes monday or tuesday but never sunday but anyway that's nice all right so in this bag we have some paint and some little foam brushes because I'm gonna do a little DIY like I said I'm not really someone who likes to do DIY but I'm not someone who also likes to pay hundreds of dollars for something that I can make myself okay had to find something to sit you on here on a candle so with the paint that I just showed you I'm going to do a little experiment with this little vase and I love the shape of this vase but the color is horrendous so I'm gonna paint it in hopes that I can achieve the look that I'm going for with this and then I'm gonna put it on our shelves by the way we've had a huge delivery of boxes of home stuff so I'm gonna show that to you guys in a second and maybe put some of it out just so maybe you can kind of get a feel of what I'm going for but I just figured now's the time to start decorating the shelves Christmas is over so we need to have this house looking more cozy and like a home 
I also got this. It's just like a little bottle vase also from Home Goods. I think it's pretty. It, uh, the color matches our house, so I probably won't do anything with this either, but um, I think it'll look nice on one of the shelves. Also, I stopped and got some Panera on the way home, and there's no telling if there's food in my teeth, so forgive me. <laughs> I also picked up a candle while I was at Home Goods. It's kind of something I always do anytime I go there. The scent is Onyx and it's by Sensational and it's a three wick candle, which is beautiful, but I'm going to pull, probably pull this label off. So it's just all black. And this was a $13 candle and it's huge and heavy. I don't know where that's going to go. It's not necessarily for the shelves, but we just needed a new candle. Since my four wick one that you're resting on actually is almost gone. Plus that's a, um, a winter a winter scent so we need something new all right so here are the picture frames that i got from goodwill and as you can see they're not perfect they're a little old it's a little dirty but i can fix that but like the edge there you can kind of see is a little chipped and i like that look because it's not brand new looking i feel like with this house it's so new and that it doesn't feel lived in at all which is fine because it's brand new but i want to bring those like lived in touches in with my decor and so i bought a couple picture frames i'm not keeping this art here there's a website that i love for art called north and finch so i'm going to get a couple things off of that and then for this one i think i might put one of our family photos in it from last year i'm not someone who likes to display family photos in the public areas of our home but um the photo shoot that we did for our christmas card was really nice <laughs> in my opinion it had like a european vibe to it so i think that that's kind of the style of like the decor and all that um that we're going with so i think it'll match great so this is going to go on a shelf somewhere this is a lid to this little pot which is so cute Ooh, so cute i love this little thing when i found it i was thinking of just keeping it like this and putting it on our shelves i may or may not paint this when i paint the other one um i'm not sure yet i definitely won't have this in my kitchen because it's just not my style for the kitchen but i love the shape of this i just need to dirty it up a little bit i've got this for the shelves possibly or somewhere else in the house i just thought it was pretty and i want to bring some more of like this gold into um this room i don't like yellow gold but i like brass so i think that this is pretty it's just a little i don't even know what to call this a little container i might possibly put this on the coffee table but at the moment decorating our coffee table is not a priority because Margot is not like sebastian and she touches everything bash i used to get questions all the time how do you keep bash from touching your coffee table decor and i'm like he just listened and he never did it when i told him not to whereas Margot she's next level y'all like she's gonna be the one that makes my gray hairs pop <laughs> even worse than they already are you guys might be thinking like what is this i have no clue i just thought it was very interesting and different and i knew no one i knew was gonna have something like this in their house and it's definitely going to go up on the shelf i just have to figure out like with what but yeah i really really like this the last thing from home goods which is not for the shelves, but more so for the kitchen, is this pestle and mortar set. I wish that you could feel how nice and how heavy this is. Um, when I found it, it didn't have a price tag on it, and I was like really scared it was gonna cost like $50, especially from something from Home Goods. Like, I'm not really down to pay for that from Home Goods, but when they put a price tag on it for me and it ended up only being $12. And the lady was like, you got really lucky because we've had these in the past and they were like 60 bucks and it should be that much. Like it's very heavy, very nice. And so um, I'm excited to do some things with this in the kitchen. And so this is not for the living room, but yeah, I just thought it would be nice to have. Home Goods has some amazing coffee table boats. If you're someone who's into like, cause I know it's really popular right now, those designer, coffee table books like the ones about clothing designers they had a ton at my home goods like there was a ysl one there was one called american runway that was just all about fashion if that's something you're into i would definitely check there because they were very inexpensive and really nice i personally don't like fashion books like i know the tom ford coffee table book is really popular and i see that all over instagram all the time and even though like 
There are some things from Tom Ford that I like, like even Black Orchid, the perfume. I don't know if a coffee table book is something that necessarily fits my personal style. But um, if you like that, there are tons at Home Goods, so I would definitely check there. I'm really, really excited about this. So I have a little bit more of a haul for you guys. But um, my baskets have arrived from Target and they're beautiful. Oh, if I can get it out of the bag, I'll show it to you. Oh my goodness. First of all, I don't think I've ever really expressed to you how much I love baskets. These are basically the sister baskets to this big one and they are all from the Studio McGee collab with Target. I love these baskets because they are brown and gray and as you know, gray is the base color of my home. Not only are they the right color, but they're amazing size. They're so deep and so my pr thought process was to do two in each of these bottom rows right here. So let's set that up and see what it looks like. I just took a second to talk to Brandon because he left to go into the office for a few minutes. And by a few minutes, I mean probably like an hour. Both of the kids are asleep right now. So I can do this and hang out with you guys in peace. But anyway, the baskets look phenomenal. Look at this. Those look amazing right there. So I accidentally bought five, not really sure why or how, but that's fine because I can find another place for it. The only issue is this is a lot of baskets, so I'm gonna have to do something else with this one, and then I'll bring this one back out or find a new home for it maybe next winter. Um, but the plan is to try to see if I can roll up all the blankets that are in there and get them in here. Also, I forgot that I bought a few other things from Target a couple weeks ago that I haven't shown you guys, and that is this picture frame. Um, this is just like a stock photo inside. I think I'm actually going to take the mat out and then put a North and Finch uh, English countryside photo to get some color in this room and it'll be mostly green and that will go on here And I think I'm gonna try to style the shelves up just a minute just so we can kind of get an idea of what we're doing But I also want to show you some other things So I got this I think from home goods a couple weeks ago when I bought that picture frame from Target These are real outside from <laughs> my bushes This is from hide and home and I'm not really sure what it is It's like a little paper mache bowl thing But I thought it was really different and cool looking and I'm really just trying not to have everything from like places like Target where it's really easy for so many of my friends and you know just people that I know to have the exact same decor as I do but of course some things are gonna be from Target like this is from Target and I thought it was really cute this is also a little wooden dough bowl from hide and home as well this is something I've had already but I'm not really sure it's from but it's just a uh, I think you put cookbooks on it but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that in a minute this is also from hide and home and as soon as I opened the box it was already broken so that's really disappointing I sent them an email just now so that I can see if I can get either a refund or them to ship me out another one like I love how that looks but Obviously, we don't want something broken, so that's not fun. Next is this hand-forged candle snuffer, and I have a gold candle snuffer, but it looks like fancy and pretty, and that's not necessarily the vibe I'm going for. I'm, I don't want fancy when you come to my house. Like, that's not what I want people to feel. I want it to feel sophisticated, but I don't necessarily want it to feel like a posh hotel. I want it to feel more like a comfy home if you know what I mean. So I got this because it looks a little old and aged and pretty. And then because I can't resist a trend, I got some of these black beads. It had a big white tassel on it that I just took off because it was ugly. But um, I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do with these. I want them to go on this table, but I haven't even bought all the decor for this console yet. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with those, but I love the beads. I think they're so nice. And then the last thing I recently purchased, this is also from Target, is this like vase by, by McGee & Co as well, or Studio McGee, I don't know what they go by. This vase was there and I snatched it up immediately because I was just looking online on another website, I can't remember which one, and it was $75. And then Target has the exact same type vase for I think this one was 25. So yeah, I couldn't resist that. 
But anyway, and then you guys have seen these before, these flowers. I've had these since I turned, I think, 29. Also, what I guess I haven't shown you guys is that mirror that is over the console table. That's from Target. I love that mirror, but I think is a little small. So I'm gonna put it in one of the kids' rooms and get a bigger version of that. But that's not at the top of the priority right now. Okay, so this is where I am right now. Obviously, a few things are going to change, like the color of this, which I explained earlier. Also, I'm not gonna use these books there, but I like the idea of books being there. I just don't like the color of those, and I would maybe like some that are a little bit shorter, so like too tall and too short, so the two shorter ones would be on the outside. I like the candle snuffer there next to it, though. Uh, I'm going to obviously fix this whole plant situation. I just shoved the branches in there, but they're not standing up obviously because the pot is broken but I like that look and then I'm gonna take this photo out of this gold picture that's right there to make it tie in a little bit better because right now it has like burgundy color in there and that's not right and then for this book this is a cookbook so I don't want a cookbook in here but I just like the look of a black book in here so I need to go on the hunt for some books and then I haven't really figured out what I'm gonna put in this one. I have to be careful with this one right here because this is one that Margot can reach, so I need to put something in there that she can't break. But yeah, I think I like the overall concept of this. It, we just need to fix a few things. Here I still have some things that I haven't done anything with. And then over there I just threw those in there because I haven't even started on that side yet. I really like this. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it or what. It obviously needs some height, so I'll probably find some books or something to sit it on. Not sure. But um, yeah, I'm liking the vibe. Obviously the color scheme is off because the things need some some refurbishing. quick update on the vase. So I was initially going with gray and the gray was not working out. It kept pulling blue and so I tried to add more black to it but it just I could not get the combination quite right so I just decided to paint the whole thing black and I think it's fine. I'm just waiting for it to dry and then I'm gonna spray it with this and that will mattify it and make it so that like the paint doesn't come off. And then this was a candle that I bought. It's a cement candle and this was kind of the look I was going for on this, but it's hard to make paint look like cement when you don't know what you're doing. The reason why it's over here is because this black triangle on here was actually red and that's how it was purchased. I thought it was just a sticker, like I just wasn't paying attention. I was like, oh, concrete, that's cute. And I grabbed it and when I got home, I went to take it off and I realized it was on, like stuck on there, it's painted on. So I just said, well, next time I get paint, I'll paint over it. And it's not the prettiest thing to look at, but it's better than a bright red triangle. And so I just keep it turned like this when I'm using it. I had the same situation with this candle set as well. So it has these stripes down the the sides and those were red that I painted tonight black and I think it just looks so much nicer <sighs> all right guys so uh, I tried to wait for that last little bit of paint to dry and I guess I just did it too thick because it's not drying and I can't do the clear spray on it until it's dry so I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow but this was just a quick update to show you what I'm working on on the shelves obviously they are nowhere near done yet but i figured i would give a little something anyway i did film a q a like two weeks ago that i never put up so that'll probably be my next video i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye